well, if it isn't our hero, Mark Seven. Hmm. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. But I'm curious, why pick our room alley of all places? It's packed with tourists around, and it'd be bad if someone got hurt. Why Owl Room Alley? Well, your buddy knows the answer to that. Exactly! On that fateful day, I was reassigned, dismissed from my department's core operations. That's why I chose this place. I want to show all those people who laughed at me that I can stand on my own two feet again. They'll be like, what? That Scott is back again? What's he got up to this time? They'll see that I, Scott, who was once shamed in front of everyone, is back in our room alley to restore his honor. They'll see that it won't be me squealing like a pig today, but you! Yeah. If that's all a villain did in an immersia, I'd definitely be asking for a refund. Ah! Shut up! Look, I have my principles. I refuse to spend my life haunted by what happened in Owl Room Alley. Do you think I'm just some sort of IPC small fry? I've been patient for so long, just waiting for the right moment. I don't care about proving my greatness. It's about showing everyone in our room alley that I will reclaim what was taken from me! No, you won't! <sighs> I've been keeping an eye on you. Seriously, do you really believe that you, a rookie who's only been learning swordplay for 15 days, can defeat my invincible mechs? Dream on! Enough with the talk. Let's get down to business, boys. Huh. Once you bite the dust, you'll know what I'm capable of. IPC's mechs! 
You guys must have cheated! This doesn't count! I demand a rematch! Scrap metal, huh? The key to victory is never the weapon. It's the person wielding it! Right. I bet you're quite familiar with them, too. Enough! Fine. I've done this before anyway. I apologize. I want to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. It's my fault for causing trouble and making a scene on purpose. Yeah. Don't forget the squealing! Make him squeal! Make him squeal! Uh, hold on a sec. I want to get this on video. It's happening all over again. All right! But before I squeal like a pig, there's something else I want to say. IPC mechs are a total joke. Oink! Oink, oink! Oink. Oink, oink. Oink. Learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all.
Uh, how should I go about this? Huh? I learned so much today.
command. Okie dokie. There's a test today, right? I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Not very sportsmanlike. <laughs> Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this! <gasps> Another step closer to star crazing, glass great.
How should I go about this? Ay, ay, ay. I learned so much today. today. There's a test today, right? I'm ready. today.
Another step closer to star crazing. Gla How should I go about this? Mm -hmm. I learned so much today! Another new move under my belt! I gotta find time to try it out! today. Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. What do you recommend? Uh-uh. Warm enough. <laughs> Not 
failed. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. <laughs> Let's do it! I already have an idea! I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed of? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely! The great hero within me is definitely up to the task. I'm going up against Scott soon. Do you know why I'm visiting you, Ching Chua? Yeah, with you, me, and her here, the answer is pretty obvious. But I know nothing about sword player duels. Now, if you're talking about playing Celestial Jade, that's something I might be able to help with. Uh, wait a minute. I've been playing with you a lot lately, right? I've actually picked up a few insights. For example, I've been thinking lately that just defeating Scott with my swords might not be enough. Well, here's the thing. Even if Scott apologizes, do you think he'd actually feel sorry for what he did? Nah, it's more he's just honoring a bet. Whether it's apologizing or squealing like a pig, I doubt he'd do it willingly. Exactly! He just wants to show off! Which is why he picked Arum Alley as the venue! You're right. Even though I'm not a fan, I'll help you figure something out. Why don't you fill her in on what happened at Arum Alley earlier? If being a workaholic were a disease, Scott would be in the ICU. It's okay to enjoy your work, but causing trouble in society is another story. Scott really needs to apologize to regular people like me. Come on, March. Let's go find it. Uh-huh. Well, well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. And who do we have here with you? Before you start the fight, I have a few words for you. Huh? Who do you think you are? Is it like a Sienjo thing to just show up uninvited? It's okay if you don't know who I am. Introduce me to him. <laughs> yep. You're welcome to check out my credentials in the Divination Commission. Heh, <laughs> what's so special about being a diviner from the Divination Commission? I'm a specialist at the Interastral Peace Corporation. Tell me, what makes you think you're so great? Do you have more minions than me? Or do you earn more credits? You may not be young, but your mindset is still that of a fresh-faced newbie who spends all their time on work while proudly proclaiming to love their job. You! Shut up, you! In my opinion, you enjoy playing the role of a joker, spouting off outrageous opinions just to seem objective and indifferent whenever you feel like it. Enough! Shut up! What do you know about me? Don't act like you know everything! Wow. You really got under Scott's skin with just a few words. Well, you almost got me! I'm here to... Have a duel, not to debate with you! Yeah, Scott couldn't come up with a comeback. Uh, that's the spirit! Strike while the iron is hot! Let me ask you something. Do you 
consider the IPC to be your family. Of course I do! I, I, I have so many amazing colleagues there. Have you seen our structure? The Talon Motivation Department makes everything feel even better than family. I heard someone went through 17 rounds of interviews just to become a basic P-13 employee. What about your own efforts? 17 rounds? That's insane! If I hadn't joined the IPC already... Think about it. Is the entrance to your own home that hard to get through? I heard even the lowest ranking Pierpoint folks feel proud of the IPC's success and wealth. But when you really think about it, how much does the IPC's success and wealth have to do with you? Of course it has something to do with me! Then tell me, which of the IPC's achievements can you personally take credit for? I was involved in the Owl Room Alley investment project. And right now, I'm in charge of these transport ships. They may not seem like big things, but uh, they can't be done without me. Funny thing is, our room alley has actually been doing better since you left. As for those transport ships, do you really think no one else can handle it? I... I just got unlucky with that project. If the IPC had listened to me, it would have been a massive success. And the shipping and transportation stuff, it, it, it's just impossible without me. Uh, I've heard that the IPC's annual turnover is even higher than the total population of the capital of Passion. Even without you, they'd find other Scots to get the job done. Do you find it hard to fall asleep without scrolling through your phone? Do you hit the snooze button every morning? Do you feel useless at work hearing your bosses complaining about your incompetence? It, it, enough! Stop it! When you actually think about your life outside of work, only one word pops into your head, doesn't it? Overtime! Please! Just stop it! Please! You know, based on my work philosophy, I don't want to say you're not important. In fact, I'd say you are important. As an employee, you should take pride in living a good life for yourself, not just work. But I... I don't have a life of my own. Scott, have you ever thought about slowing down and exploring things like tea and tea culture? It could be a new hobby and a whole new way of life for you. But I... I'm not interested in tea. It's important to learn to enjoy the simple pleasures in life. You might discover a new interest if you just give it a try. You consider yourself superior to others. You have no time for your own life. You lack empathy. You're always worried about being looked down upon, and your self-esteem stems from the status the IPC gives you. Do you really want to live like this forever? <laughs> That's so mean! Just an ordinary person struggling, trying to survive. Don't you feel a twinge of guilt saying nasty stuff like that? Of course I do. Because I'm just an ordinary person, too. Now, Scott, welcome back to the world of ordinary people. Meng Ming, the owner of the Sleepless Earl, went to great efforts to set up her shop. All so that workers like us can catch a break and find some joy in our lives. What makes you so different from her? How would you feel if you worked so hard to create something? Only to have your boss wreck it and overwhelm you with unreasonable demands. Oh, we were intending to defeat you in a duel and make you apologize to her. But now we see that won't work. I see. I'll make a genuine, heartfelt apology to her. Enough. I understand. We don't need to carry on with this sword fight. 
I'm going to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. And to everyone fully living their lives. Thank you, guys. I almost went too far, which would have been a mistake. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be happy. I'll have some tea, read the paper, and explore the universe. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to apologize to the owner. Thanks. You've given me a lot to think about. As for this lousy job at the IPC, well, it's, uh, it's time for some serious contemplation. Catch you later. Uh, I'm so tired. Haven't felt this exhausted in ages. You guys better treat me to something nice, March. Of course. Thank you, Master Chingchua.